So there's a pretty wild debate going on right now. People really want to know, would Terrence Crawford have beaten a prime Floyd Mayweather? And I think it's a very, very interesting conversation. We, we fall into a lot of these kind of conversations where a modern day fighter, would they have been an older fighter? Like, you know, the Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali conversation. You know, there's been multiple times where this has came up and this has occurred. But of course, it's only what ifs. It's only a lot of what ifs. There's never really a way to know because, you know, you can't turn back time. You can't go back in time. So there's never, there will never be a way to know for sure. But I am going to entertain this conversation a little bit because I'm very interested in this. And I'm very curious to see your guys' opinion on this also. Don't don't mind. I, I don't mind if you disagree with me. You guys can disagree with me. This is a discussion. This is a debate. This is a topic that's interesting to a lot of people. So you don't have to agree with me, my man. Like, come on. Tell me if you don't, if you disagree with me, feel free in the comments. Just let me know what you would disagree with and what, what you think would be your opinion. This is all just opinions. Feel free to state your opinion in the comments below. I welcome it. I love it. Even if it's a disagreeing, but just keep it respectful, you guys, even to each other. Just keep it respectful. I appreciate the support. Thank you. And let's just get into this topic. So in my opinion, there's two separate different types of Floyd Mayweather that we got to put into conversation here. If we're talking about would Terrence Crawford beat him because there was two different Floyd Mayweathers that were, you know, separated his career. So there's the pretty boy Floyd era. And there's the Money Mayweather era. So I'm going to give my thoughts on how I think Terrence Crawford would do against each one. So Pretty Boy Floyd, he was a lot more reckless, a lot more dangerous, a lot more willing to stay in the fire and trade and take damage, trade blows. A lot less defensively sound. Still still good, very, very good fighter. Very good defensive fighter. Very good offensive fighter. Letting those hands go. But as we know, due to not only the damage, Floyd Mayweather decided to take a smarter route and fight more defensively and due to his hands constantly being broken Floyd Mayweather just couldn't let his hands go and let that power fly like he used to when he was younger so he had to adopt a more defensive style but pretty boy Floyd was definitely a more entertaining fighter much more entertaining to watch but this is the part of Floyd Mayweather that I think would lose to Terrence Crawford I think Terrence Crawford is just too slick he's a really really good boxer but also, too, the thing is that that's young Floyd. You know what I mean? That's that's a very, very young Floyd. Terrence Crawford isn't that young. Terrence Crawford really isn't. So, But he is definitely in his prime. Terrence Crawford has looked the best he's ever looked, in my opinion, coming up against Errol Spence. So if we're talking about the Terrence Crawford versus the young, you know, naive, pretty boy, much more dangerous, willing to fight, firefight, pretty boy Floyd... I would edge it to Terrence Crawford. I think Terrence Crawford would touch Floyd up. Terrence is very fast. He has a lot, a lot of power. And Floyd back then was just too small. He'd be too small for someone like Terrence Crawford. But th that's what the, the big caveat is. That's what's hard because, you know, there's different, different Floyd Mayweathers. So, but skill for skill, I think Terrence Crawford would beat Pretty Boy Floyd, in my honest opinion. But the Money Mayweather Floyd... It's a different story. I think people now, since Floyd has been out of the game so long, people are starting to forget how good Floyd really was defensively. It was so hard to hit Floyd. You literally had to go reckless and go crazy like someone like Marcos Maidana. You had to do like a Marcos Maidana move where you're just coming forward, winging hard, looping shots constantly, making the fight super dirty. You, that's the type of fight you're going to have to fight if you want to touch Floyd. Because if you fight technically, you're not going to be able to touch him. He was just too good defensively. So I do not think that Terrence Crawford would have been able to touch Money Mayweather. I mean, he definitely would have been able to touch him for sure. But I don't think he would have been able to touch him up and damage him. Just like in the Showtime Sean Porter fight, we've seen Terrence Crawford go down on the scorecards. And I just think Floyd Mayweather has that style to where... He touches you up, he boxes you up, he moves around, he frustrates you. you. You get frustrated, you come in a little reckless, he catches you, you can't hit him, you can't hit him clean. And when you do hit him, he's moving with your punch, so you don't really hit him clean at all. And it's very, very frustrating. And I just think Floyd Mayweather, you know, would do what he normally does. It would just be a Floyd Mayweather show where it's a defensive boxing clinic. A hit and not get hit clinic from Floyd Mayweather. And I honestly think he would beat Terrence Crawford by decision. 
Of course, it would be a boring fight because, you know, typical Money Mayweather fashion it is. You know, it, it, what makes the fight exciting is more so the antics and more so the, all right, is Floyd going to finally lose? Is this the guy to finally beat Floyd? You know, is this going to be his first loss on his record? People want to witness Floyd Mayweather lose for the first time since he's an all-time great. So it's more so those type of things that make people interested and want to see Floyd rather than it being a super exciting fight like someone like Manny Pacquiao was in his prime. I do believe that Terrence Crawford would have took care of Pretty Boy Floyd if Floyd was, you know, much more when he was much more reckless and he was willing to let his hands go and take some to give some. I think Terrence Crawford would have got the better of him. But just the money Mayweather, he's too good defensively. It's just so hard. Dude, Terrence Crawford definitely could hurt him if he touched him. But you got to hit him. You got to hit him. You got to touch him up. And not just hit him, but you got to hit him clean, flush. And I just, I'm not sure if Terrence Crawford would have been able to. And it's really hard to try to say who would have been able to. I'm sure there's probably going to be some fighter in history and some fighter out there that would have possibly beaten Floyd Mayweather when Mayweather was in his prime. But it's hard to say because Floyd Mayweather is just so good defensively that people just weren't able to touch him. And it's hard to predict who would because we've we've gone from fighter to fighter to fighter thinking, oh, this guy's going to be the guy. No, now this guy's going to be the guy. And it's just been the same story each and every fight. So I think people now, you know, but it, it happens with all the greats. Through time, people forget how good they really were and... People start to have that conversation of, you know, this guy would beat this guy or that guy would beat that guy. But due to like probably it's most likely due to recency bias. But like I said, Terrence Crawford, in my opinion, beats Pretty Boy Floyd, but loses to Money Mayweather. Y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. Catch you in the next video.